All right, so today we are in the edit bay getting back to some basics. I really wanna make a tutorial that's gonna help out some beginner editors and maybe even some intermediate editors to navigate some of the details about selecting clips in your timeline and duplicating clips in your timeline. Just some basics that can help speed you up with Final Cut Pro so that you can start moving up from beginner to intermediate or intermediate to expert. So enough of the chit chat, let's jump into the edit bay and start going through these 15 tips that are gonna speed up your workflow in Final Cut Pro. All right, so to start off we're just going to look at what you need to do to select a clip all you have to do is click on the clip to select a clip but there are a couple of other interesting ways to select clips in final cut pro one of them is if you hover your skimmer over a clip and hit x it'll select the clip where the skimmer is using the range selection so you can see we can move the skimmer wherever you want in the timeline and whatever clip the skimmer is over in the primary storyline, it's going to select that clip with the range selection. Now, what if you want to select the clip without using the range selection? Hover your skimmer over any clip and press C, and it'll do a traditional clip selection in the primary storyline. Well, what if you want to select a clip that isn't in the primary storyline? Simply move your cursor or pointer over the clip and then hit C. Some of you might be saying, well, why wouldn't I just click on the clip? I don't know, but this is just another way for you to select clips in the timeline. If maybe you're not wanting to move your cursor into some tight places, just hover that skimmer over that clip and you can select it by hitting C or X to do the range selection method. Now the next set of clips are going to involve using what Apple calls the drag selection rectangle, okay? I call this lassoing. Lassoing is a little bit tricky to use because that's a common term in graphic design for a tool that you use in apps like Photoshop. I'm gonna refer to this as lassoing throughout the video, so if that causes your brain some pain, I apologize, but it's a lot easier to say lasso than it is to say draw a rectangle selection box. So first off, if you wanna select multiple clips in your timeline, you can use the lasso to drag them over those clips, right? And we can select multiples, we can select all of our clips in our timeline if we wanna drag the whole thing. So that's a very basic way for selecting clips in your timeline. So what if we wanna select numerous clips throughout the timeline? Let's go ahead and select our first clip. And then if we press and hold the command key, we can click on other clips and it's only gonna select the clips we click on. This also works with lassoing, so if you wanna lasso a range of clips and then click a clip or lasso a clip, you can do that using the command key. But that command key modifier comes in really handy when you're lassoing or selecting multiple clips in your timeline. Now, what happens if you're selecting clips and you accidentally lasso two clips when you only wanted to lasso one? Keep pressing and holding the command key and then select the clip that you selected by accident and it will deselect that clip. So go ahead. Oh, I didn't want to select that one, so I'm going to click on that. And then I want this one, this one, this one, and then these two, and we're good to go. And let, maybe I changed my mind. I don't want these two clips included. I can, again, continuing to press and hold the command key, click on those clips and deselect them. Now, storylines are really interesting. Let's zoom in here and take a look at this storyline. We've got this group of clips here, and you know it's in a storyline because it's bound by this gray box. If I want to select the storyline and all the clips inside of it, I can lasso it from the top and it will select the entire storyline and its contents. If I just want to select the clips inside the storyline, I can come at it from the side with the lasso and just lasso the clips inside. So there's two different ways that you can work with selecting clips that are in a storyline. And then I've got two more tips to round things out. What if you want to select all your clips in the timeline? And just hit Command A and you can select all your clips. What if you want to deselect all these clips? You can either click outside of any of the clips that you've selected, or you can hit Command Shift A. Now this really comes in handy if you've selected multiple clips in your timeline and you want to deselect them. You can click in the gray area outside of your timeline to deselect them, or you can hit Command Shift A and it will deselect the clips that you've selected. Now another way to select multiple clips is by clicking on the first clip, pressing and holding Shift, and then clicking on the last clip that you wanna select. That lets you select a range of clips from one start point to an end point, very similar to lassoing. 
The difference is you can see I've got this title in the mix. If I want to use the shift modifier and click all the way down to this clip, it'll exclude that from that equation. I can't really easily lasso these clips unless I come at them from the bottom to avoid selecting the zoom in title that I have here above this clip. So the shift key is another great modifier for selecting a range of clips. If I want to select everything to the left of this clip up until here, I can press and hold shift, click on this clip, and uh, it'll select that range of clips. So that shift keyboard modifier, which we use in Mac OS for a lot of things in a number of different applications, does work in Final Cut Pro when you wanna select a range of clips. Now you may have some different ways that you like to select clips in your timeline. Please drop them down in the comments if there's anything that I've missed or if there's some special nuances to some of the modifiers I've used that you're aware of that I'm not using in Final Cut. I always love to up my game with new tips and tricks, so feel free to hit me in the comments if there's any tips or tricks that you have that pertain to selecting clips in the timeline. I'd love to hear them. Now, the last thing that we're gonna cover is duplicating clips in your timeline. There's a couple of different ways to do this when it comes to keyboard modifiers, when you're clicking and dragging, as well as using keyboard shortcuts to duplicate clips in your timeline. This is something that really works well to speed up my workflow in Final Cut. Let's say that we want to duplicate these clips because we're gonna do some compositing above them in the timeline. If I select the three clips by lassoing them, I can press and hold the Option key and then click and drag above and it's going to duplicate those clips. This is really handy when you want to quickly duplicate clips so you can fly through your timeline with the different compositing or uh, stylized edits that you're doing. So you can also do this with copy and paste. So if we select these three clips and hit Command C and then go to this edit point and hit Command V, we're going to paste in those three clips. The downside is, is it pastes them in the primary storyline because those clips were copied from the primary storyline. So there's a really great keyboard shortcut that you can use to copy items that are in the primary storyline, but paste them above the primary storyline. And that keyboard shortcut is simply, let's start with a Command C and then move our playhead where we want those clips and then use Option V to paste them above the primary storyline. I use this keyboard shortcut all the time when I'm copying and pasting items. Again, just like the option click and drag, we get the same result. We can select these three clips, hit Command C, move our playhead to that edit point, and then hit Option V, and it's gonna paste them above the primary storyline. Option V is something that I use all the time in Final Cut Pro, and it has definitely sped up my workflow when I'm duplicating clips, doing compositing, and some other fancy edits that I wanna be able to fly through in Final Cut. Now, let's say you wanna copy these clips because you're gonna do something down here toward the end of your timeline. If you hit Command V, it's gonna paste it into the primary storyline. But if you hit Option V, it's gonna paste it above the primary storyline and extend this gap clip to allow for the primary storyline to continue. So you always wanna ask yourself when you're copying and pasting clips, do I wanna copy and paste this into the primary storyline or do I wanna copy and paste this above the primary storyline? And that's gonna let you determine if you're gonna use Command C and Command V or Command C and Option V to paste above the primary storyline. So those are some simple tips for how to duplicate things in your timeline and move a little bit more quickly through your edits in Final Cut Pro. All in all, I think we covered about 15 or so tips and tricks here in Final Cut Pro. And these are all things that I use on a daily basis that I often take for granted that I've known since I started using Mac OS. But for some of you out there who haven't been taught these keyboard modifiers and some of these keyboard shortcuts for basic things like duplicating clips, copying and pasting, selecting clips in Final Cut Pro. I hope these are helpful. For you expert video editors out there, were there any tips in this that you didn't know or that you don't regularly use that you're going to adopt? You thought you knew everything or you sort of had everything down when it comes to selecting clips or copying and pasting, but even I showed you a new trick. If that happened to you, drop it down in the comments below. I'll tell you the one that got me a few years ago was Option V when I needed to copy and paste something above the primary storyline. That one was like, are you kidding me? How did I not know this before? Now, if you got some value from this video and you learned something new in Final Cut Pro, I'd love it if you click the like button and subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you here as part of the Final Cut fam and the Broccoli Squad, chopping it up with me on this channel as we continue to master Final Cut Pro and elevate our editing skills. That's all I've got for this one, everyone. Until the next one, I'll see you all soon. Don't forget, keep chopping that broccoli. And if you're wondering, where does this chopping broccoli situation come from? 
I'll put a link to a video down in the description. It's a hilarious SNL video from back in the 90s, and I'll give a little bit more context in the description so you can understand what the heck this whole chop and broccoli thing means. So that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Thank you.